See, every one of us wants to divide the world between good people and bad people. Have you noticed this? This is a natural, common human inclination. We just draw the line differently depending on where we find ourselves, right? So sometimes, you know, we think like, well, you know, the, since we live in the West, capitalism is on the good side and communists are the bad people, right? Or since we're Christians, Christians are on the good side of the line, non-Christians are on the bad side of the line. Or if you're a Muslim, Muslims are on the good side and non-Muslims are on the bad side. Or, right, you can draw the line however you want where the good people are over here in this camp with me and the bad people are over there. The way the Bible frames the problem is to say this, the line between good and evil runs right through the heart of every human person. That's the problem. You can't separate the world into good people and bad people because that line runs right through you. So Jesus coming as the judge of all the earth is a problem not just for those bad people who aren't like you. It is a problem for you and it is a problem for me. But notice that this text in 2 Thessalonians also reminds us of the gospel of our Lord Jesus. The gospel is the good news that the judge of all the earth was himself judged. He came in our place to bear the justice that is waiting for us and to take it upon himself, and he did so at the cross. And so the way to escape the vengeance of God, the final justice of God that is coming to all the world, the way to escape that is to flee to the cross, to take refuge in Jesus and in what he has done to receive the mercy that God offers to everyone in and through Jesus Christ. That's why this text says, for those who believe, for those who obey the gospel, for those who receive the good news that Jesus has come to bear our judgment, they'll be marveling at the one in whom they've believed. This will be a day of glory and joy for them. 